We're here at Western Australia, Rottnest Island, for the Red Bull Lighthouse of Late in 2012. For the race, it's a, what we call a broad reach. Good guys, can I get some good speeds? It's all about speed, it's all about reach. Full field of 110 competitors. Should get pretty hectic out there. The thought of crossing open ocean in Western Australia, 19 kilometres out, I've never done anything like it. and the 2012 Rebel Lighthouse Layton. Hands up those who are doing this for the first time. Wow. <laughs> So for the race from Rottnest to Perth, sort of a direct run uh, east towards the, the land. It's a 19k race, so this race I don't think will be decided at the start line, you know. Your legs, especially your back legs, muscles, they're going to be burned, man. In Perth we get the Fremantle Doctor. For us it's our sea breeze and generally comes from either the south or the southwest. It can be up to 30 knots and for kiteboarding it's, you know, it's perfect. You don't really want much else. It's the world famous Fremantle Doctor. Rottnest is a great location, it's kind of one of those unique places where you go just as a bit of a holiday and stuff. And there's also these cool, I believe they're called quokkas, I think they're only found in that one, one spot. The water's really blue, you've got the waves and also you've got the flat water on the other side of the natural jetty so it's just really amazing to, to race with all your friends and some of us get a little bit competitive and others just do it because it's so beautiful. The start is about an hour away, so everyone's just rigging up, you can see all the kites up the beach. Pretty pumped, wind is good, so I'm trying my 9 metre first, so a pretty small kite. Picking the right board is essential. If you pick, say, a, a light wind board and the wind comes up, um, there's a lot of chop, then it's not going to be much use for you. My dilemma has been the choice between a 12 metre and a 9 metre. I've gone the 9, let's just hope it <laughs> does me good. There's a bit of weed halfway through, so I caught a bit of weed and Dale was catching up to me. And I saw him coming down from the top. Sort of took the high line and decided that I'd come down at the end. But there's a whole lot of boats crossing us, so I had to slow down to like 10 knots when I was going through these boats at one stage. But there's a boat out there, one of the scuba boats got him away and I was like, get out of the way, I'm coming through. And they're like, yeah, this is wicked, I'm like, get out of the way. I just gritted my teeth and I uh, was pleased the helicopters didn't get too close. Gee, what a race. I don't know what time we did in, but um, hopefully we cracked the record. The first place, Jonathan Pease. <laughs> Leyden Beach is the home beach, so it's as good as it gets. The winner for the female, Kira McFarlane. I was happy with the start, and I think it's all about the start. If you get a, a good position early and then just hold it, you're right. 